Good morning, good morning. Paul with Shirley Fabrication of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Y'all forgive me, I got a little chest cold or something, can't hardly talk, and I do need to get a microphone, so I get that all the time, but I just hadn't taken time to do it. I got a cooker right here, I'm gonna do a video on for a buddy of mine, Mr. Kevin Chavis out of North Carolina. Kevin's one of my great Christian brothers, and I appreciate him, but uh, what he got, what he's got right here is a 24 by 60, elevated, straight back cabinet model, has a hip roof, the warmer has a hip roof, the warmer is elevated to 36 inches, standard is 28, it's got a half inch firebox, has a big stainless steel 304 grade shelf with a backflash on it, we, we build in shop, we heat, heliarch all the corners and everything together and break it, so has a four gallon Cajun fryer, he opted for a four instead of a six, uh, custom wheels and tires right here, but I'm gonna walk through it right here right quick, he got a remote grease train right here. You flip this handle right here, and it just takes the grease out of the cooker. Because uh, everybody knows we do a one-piece baffle plate, completely sealed, welded. Uh, I'll show you the inside right quick. It's going to be tight. Uh, got the handles tight, plus the grates are going to be tight. You can open this right here still get out with a stainless shelf down uh, right here. It's got three sets of grates right here. Has about six and a half inches between each grate, six and three quarters, plenty of room for butts, briskets, everything. A lot of cooking area, a lot of surface area in this cooker right here. Uh, our grates are made out of one by one by quarter inch angle, three quarter number nine flat expanded metal. Uh, these doors are gasketed, so they're gonna be pretty tight. These doors are gonna be pretty tight initially. Uh, Anyway, it's got a stainless fold-up shelf right here with a paper towel holder you can flip it, lock it in right there. Has a elevated, <coughs> this is an upgrade, has an elevated warmer, a really tall warmer. Right here has a pan, our warmer has pans in them to where you can come out here and direct grill. And I, what, what I did with Kevin, I added him a, a searing grate right here. I added him a, a round bar grate. Cut a few expanding metal right over wood and charcoal right there at wheel warp. But he can jump this grate around wherever he wants it, depending on what he's doing. So uh, right here, that just comes out locked. We do this, you know, people can use the cookers as a grill, as a coal smoker, as a warmer, as a direct, uh, as a uh, vertical cooker coming from the firebox. Many different things you can use our warmers for. They just, they're really good. You know? Right here, got a little drip bar right here. Uh, right here it's gasketed, we gasket it under here. It has a deflector that'll deflect the heat if you just want to cook just in the warmer or whatever. Uh, these, things, these things are tight right now because they have new gaskets on them. Right here we have a fire box right here with a big basket and had grab handles cut in it right there. That is, uh, on mine, I, I've gone to using, uh, most of the time, a lot of the times, I've gone to use rays, expanded metal, three quarter number nine rays. <coughs> and I put two layers in there. It'll last for years, man. It'll last for years and years. And then you just replace the wire one day if you want to or whatever. Pan right here. I'm not gonna pull it out. It has a little ash pan right there under that that'll come out so you can get, get it, get it out of there. It's not no problem right there. Uh, on the back of the cooker right here, we are known for our dual damper system. This right here damper puts heat and smoke from the main chamber into the warmer. This damper right here, you can crack it and that puts fire, heat and fire from the firebox into the warmer. A lot of guys will close their main cook stack off, open this damper, open the stack on the warmer and draft all the way out through that cooker. And it drafts perfectly, so. Anyway, right here we have custom fenders that we build in shop. We build these fenders, custom welding tire with center caps. Uh, I got a wood box right here. Within, in the wood box, I've incorporated his tank holder for his cage and fryer. Grease fittings on all the hinges. Uh, <clears throat> come back around here. We have eyebrows on all the gauges. People ask what's that for. Basically, I feel like it's for aesthetics. It's what people like, what they want on the cooker. My stacks right now, I think Tyler does too, is where you can raise them up and you can lower them and go all the way down like that <clears throat> if you want to fully draft. Cause that way, if you have a stack and it comes up right here, 
and you put it right there, and I do that. I pinch mine off. It's not the end of the world, but heat is going to come up and hit hit the inside of that stack, and you're going to have a little residual of condensate or smoke or whatever roll down. It'll stain it a little bit, but this cooker looks the best it'll ever look right now today because if you use it, it's going to get dirty. I don't care who you are. That right here built, built this cooker. Has a probe port for your digital thermometer right there. Has one here, here, and here. Has a Shirley fabrication bottle opener where you just pop your top on your beverage, whatever you're drinking. Uh, right here has a, a fryer. Right here too. I got it where we take the, you can take your baskets out or you can get a longer boat, run down through here and lock it. Keep it from rattling going down the road. Uh, I got a little stack right here, right here. You move on it. We run our stack straight up because if you run the stack straight out, somebody's going to get burnt. Right there is what you need. Uh, removable trailer tongue right here. We do that on most all of our cookers right here. So if you come right around here, you're going to hit your freaking chin when it's in the shop. But it gives you more room in a, in a garage, in a shop, garage area, or whatever. You just pull a pin, pull that thing out, and you got room. Nobody's ever stole a trailer without a tongue in it that I know of. Uh, Unless they go out and go fabric grade them a tongue right quick and make sure all the holes are matched up, ain't gonna happen. Uh, again, three or four grade stainless steel shelf. This is one eight thick. Uh, very heavy duty, uh, great shelf. <clears throat> Some people ask what to do with those shelves, how to clean them, how to wipe them off. I, I spray something on it called coverall, which is on those wheels. Uh, it just gives it a little silicone based. Uh, area right there, you just wipe it off. A lot of guys, big red, foils his stainless shelf. Somebody said, why do you want to foil your stainless shelf? Because he's OCD, is he? he wants his stainless shelf clean. So that's just what he does. Foil is cheap. Uh, again, I went over everything, foil the stainless shelf, all the trailer wires run inside the trailer. Uh, I know this ain't the best video in the world, guys. This is six o'clock, I ain't feeling too good this morning. But I'm gonna be all right. <clears throat> so again, really, uh, if you look at the rig, it's a really slick, tight looking rig. We don't do, and nothing's wrong with this, we don't do all these cool hinges and all this. It's just not what we do. We've been very successful doing what we do now for well over 12 years, banging on 15, you know, and it's just what we do. We don't want to copy anybody else, and there's some cool people out there doing some really neat stuff. I'm not knocking any of that. That is wonderful. They do that, and man, I say it. I mean, they're, they're beautiful, really, honest. A lot of nice pit builders out there. We do more of a streamlined, real tight looking cooker, really, uh, it, it, it just, it's what we do. It's just like what we do. So anyway, but uh, all right, I got another week off here. I'll be heading to Tennessee to hook up with some of my brothers uh, Friday that are another big pit building company uh, is TMG. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you all that. They're good guys, we like them. We're supposed to be on a podcast with them Friday night, go out to eat, and then we're gonna go to uh, go to Tennessee. I got tickets to the Tennessee Alabama ball game Saturday. We're gonna go to that game. So, uh, you know, those are great guys, man. TMG, we have nothing but love for those guys. We, they're, they're really solid pit builders, and you know, that's just the way it is. They do a great job. If you don't buy from me, buy from them. They, 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 they're really good dudes. But anyway, uh, that's what I got to say about that. Uh, it, it's kind of like Tyler said, if, you, if you're hating, you ain't loving. If you're loving, you ain't hating. So we ain't hating on folks. But anyway, thank y'all, man. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, I'm not feeling too good today. But I'm going to get out here and grind. I'm going to grind hard and get something done. We out of here.